Hello, everyone. This is Chris and Murtzog with my very special co-host, Joanne Thomas, co-founder of the Fantastic Horror Film Festival. Our guest today is Garrett Henry. He's a f- young filmmaker from Canada. I want to welcome you on the show. I'm great, great. How are you, Scott? Very nice to, to be speaking with you. Thank you. I want to thank you for contacting me for checking that trailer, and uh, it looks really, really uh, cool. It really looks nice. I mean... Awesome. Yeah, that one is just our teaser. Like, I'm actually going to do a full two and a half minute proper trailer that's exploring all the storyline as well. This was just something to get out there, get people knowing that I'm uh, working on this film now, uh, and just really give back to the cast and crew because I know they've been waiting a long time to see something as well. Right. You have a lot of short films since 2011. Now, if I'm mistaken, The Clown, I noticed, is, is available on YouTube to watch. Is there any other of the short films before the full feature that is available online to watch? Actually, all my uh, short films are available online to watch. What I ended up doing was, uh, because I didn't go to film school, I wanted to actually get my hands right in and make a lot of films uh, that were a little more professional rather than just kind of the handyman, uh, handy cam student film stuff. Right. Uh, so what I did was I made a whole uh, series of like B shorts that I compiled all into uh, a series that's kind of like a Tales from the Crypt style where it's called Stories from Hell, and there's a demon introducing each one of the short films. So that's all available on my website, gghmotionpictures.com, uh, and it's all through YouTube, and it's all online for free. So uh, I encourage people to check that out. I mean, I think it's more of just, uh, it was practice for me, uh, and it was really just uh, laying the groundwork to get doing Dead Rivalry and get uh, the feature, because that's really what my passion well, is. exactly right, and we all start somewhere, and I, every young filmmaker that I've talked to or reviewed for the motto is you got to start somewhere, and then every time you do it, you start learning, you get better and better and better, and then after whammo, a full feature comes down your way. So Exactly, and that's the thing. Like If you can do enough short films where you've done 90 minutes worth, what's the difference between just doing it all at once in a feature? It's much better to actually experiment with the long format because in you know, 5, 10 minutes, it's very hard to tell a story without just having that big punchline at the end. Right. Uh, so short films, it's it's really like telling a joke where it's setting everything up and just having the, the punchline. Uh, so it was really exciting for me to, to get out from that and then try my own feature. Well, I was wondering, I, was like, I actually watched the teaser and I thought it was interesting. It appears that it's what, based on a serial killer training his subordinate um, in the art of killing people? Yes, that's right. Hey, I figured it out. <laughs> It's, um, yeah, what we actually had with the, the storyline uh, was very interesting. It's like two people in the same place, like the wrong place at the wrong time. So what we have is Winston, who's the older gentleman with the glasses and the mustache. Now, he is uh, driving around, heap them up, kill them. Then there's also the younger serial killer named Brendan. Now, he's actually hitchhiking around. When he gets in the car with the people, he kills them. So we introduce both of them separately, and then we see that they both get in the same car together. And now when they're in the car together, we're wondering who's going to make the first move, who's going to kill, and it totally blows uh, what we it blows our expectations. We did not think uh, that they'd actually start this bond together and start working together because Brendan is like the son that Winston never had. So it's very interesting how it's... Um, they turn into like a positive relationship rather than just trying to kill each other right off the bat. So now, who are some of the cast? I know the IMDb is not up to date. No, there's only, I think, three of the uh, the main cast on IMDb so far. So we have Alyssa King, who's playing Tanya. Uh, this is like a beautiful redhead. Uh, it's a hitchhiker that they pick up. And this is the girl that both Brendan and Winston both, uh, it's the uh, apple of their eye. So they both uh, are set on wanting to kill her. And then that's where they start their feud, their rivalry, on who's actually going to get uh-huh. to kill this one. And she has special meaning to Winston because she looks exactly like his mother. So it's kind of like a thing from Psycho going on where he's really kind of plagued by uh, his mother and stuff that happened to him uh, when he was younger. So she's uh, the main uh, female lead. And then we also have our subplot, which consists of Stephen Davis and Mark Buck, who are playing Carl and Jesse, respectively. And they are two private investigators looking for a missing person. So this missing person is presumably a hitchhiker that these guys have already killed. Very interesting. Can't wait to see it. Yeah, it's, um, it was quite a interesting script. I didn't actually write it. Um, there was a, like a writer I've been working with for about a year now, um, Jeremy Thornhill. He uh, provided me with this script, and uh, I just loved it from the get-go. We made some changes together, 
Uh, and the best part about it was there was several twists in it, and nobody could see the uh, the ending twist coming, which was very very uh, exciting for us because then I knew that we had to film this in a way that like there was no way we could give away the ending. It has to be extremely extremely uh, riveting when watching, so that the uh, ending just pops. That's all I care about. It surprised me. And that's what makes this a really good story. Oh, exactly. And like that's the thing. This isn't like a typical slasher where we're following around the victims. There's no victims running around scared or anything like that. We're following these serial killers, so it's a very serious, serious look at these two characters. Now, the question that I have is, um, now, obviously, I don't know if you can answer this, but did you leave it open for a sequel? You know what? Uh, we did actually leave it open for a sequel. I don't think it was intended from the uh, the original version of the script, but uh, the way that the, the movie ends, there's definitely like an option to, uh, to keep it going. Yeah. So, um, now, you... I've noticed that now that once you started releasing the trailer, I think it was Horror Bug, and then it was to me, and now I'm noticing it's starting to pop up a lot of places. So have you noticed more buzz now? Oh, definitely. We uh, we just released the trailer on the, the Friday, and already we've gotten six uh, press releases. Um, so, I mean, it's it's getting good. I'm getting like a lot of positive feedback, and I'm getting contacted uh, almost every day by somebody new that's seeing it. Uh, and is really impressed by it. So I think it's uh, it's great to be getting it out there. And the more people that can see it, uh, the better. When is the film going to be officially releasable for film festivals and reviewers, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera? I mean, that will be in um, in June when we are totally finished uh, the film. But what I'd actually like to do is take it to some distributors uh, because I've talked to a couple ones in Toronto. Um, who might be actually interested in, uh, in pursuing it and seeing where else it goes. Because um, as much as I like film festivals, I'd like to actually make a product that can uh, get distributed as well. So that's kind of uh, one of the main goals with the project. Um, so that's definitely uh, like June is going to be the time when we can uh, start releasing. But uh, if we do get a, a deal with distribution, then that's going to be kind of uh, up to then when it's officially released. But, yeah, uh, privately I'll definitely be uh, having it available June. All right, so basically you really can't submit to a festival um, if it has a distro deal. I mean, a lot of festivals don't take films that are in distro. Actually, mm-hmm. actually um, one of the things that, is, uh, that we've dealt with is, for example, Krampus is in the process of looking for distribution, and we accepted their film, and they will make a deal with their distributor to make sure that we can show it. So you do have that kind of option when you're when you're okay. distributors. So we're we're available. Our actual our de- deadline, I think, is the end of August. Um, we have a long period of time. So, in fact, we're even asking if if you wanted to get our early bird rate, um, you could go in and and submit now and then send send the uh, film later. Yeah, I mean that would be uh, that'd be great. I'd love to uh, submit it. The main thing for me is just to get this out there and to be able to do another feature because this one was made for essentially a no budget. Um, I'd like to just basically get the word out there and just keep making movies. Well, if you go to www.fhffsd.org, you can go in there and all the information's in there for the fees and and the submit and all that happy stuff. So, hey. You're more than welcome to. I think uh, your film alone, if it's if it's available to be shown at the you know, Fantastic Film Festival, you know, bearing on the judges and all that happy stuff, that from what I've seen in the teaser trailer, it's going to pique a lot of people's interest, and it might be very successful. It could very well be. Just the way the storyline that you're explaining it right now, it's a little different than a lot of these uh, uh, killer films. Oh, absolutely. And I'm really more the the horror guy. Uh, the writer, he's a lot more into the dramas and thrillers. Um, so it was, it was really interesting. He's into the more realistic stuff. I'm into the more supernatural, all that kind of horror. Uh, so it was really cool how we could kind of make this collaboration and really come out um, where it was still, uh, I would classify it as a horror film, but it's totally different than uh, most of the stuff that we're used to, to seeing. I mean, like I said, uh, I wanted to get you on here to help promote this more because... Uh like I said, I got the trailer, and of course Joanne watched it too. Actually, I posted on the uh, on the Fantastic Film Festival page, and of course the Fan Festival page. I mean, you've got a lot of likes and a lot of watches. So, I mean, uh, 
when one person watches it and passes it on, it just starts building and building and building, and all of a sudden you have a nice little chain gang, and that's what oh, you definitely, want. Definitely, yeah. And we've got uh, some other little goodies that we're going to be releasing as well in terms of uh, additional clips, um, some more behind the scenes, um, and even uh, like a cast, because uh, a lot of these the, the casts that we used are up and coming. Uh, we didn't go with a union cast, so uh, a lot of them, it was their first uh, starring role in a feature, so I would really like to... Uh, showcase them because they did a phenomenal job for um, for having that little experience and uh, I was really impressed with uh, how the performances turned out. Chris Power had a film that was uh, called Long Pigs and it came out in like 2007 but it it took some time to get it out there and that's like a um, uh, found footage film with a serial killer to where these two people were filming him uh, killing people you know picking people up and throw them in the car and take them back home I mean, the storyline is different than yours, but it has that really, really off the wall, strange uh, feel to where you don't know what's going to happen next. Sounds, uh, sounds very intriguing. But yeah, check it out. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you can find it over there easier than over here. I, I, I like the idea that you have with, um, two people basically fighting over who's going to kill who first. It just has that really unique, oddness that I think it's going to impress a lot of people. Oh yeah, it definitely relies more on the, the suspense rather than um, just straight up shock. Uh, so there definitely is, uh, like when I am even watching the rough cut, There's, uh, it's very hard for me to turn it off within five minutes. I have to uh, just keep watching because it's just even propelling me. I've seen it so many times. Uh, so that's really, uh, really interesting for me. All right, cool. Now, is there anything else that you, I mean, I know this is still in the making. Is there, have you had thought of any other projects afterwards or um well i do actually have um another feature that i am uh, really thinking about doing it's uh it's based on a true story uh it's about the lake bodum murders from uh finland uh so this is uh basically these four uh young teenagers went to this uh lake bodum spent the night there and only one of them made it out alive and it's the, it's a very, very, it's an unopened case. It's, uh, it's very, very, uh, strange. And, uh, there's a band called Children of Bodom that based their whole, uh, artwork and ideology from this, uh, okay. this murder. So, uh, it's basically, it's just in the developmental stages, but that's, uh, definitely something I've wanted to, to do for some time now. Oh, nice. I mean, again, I wish you all the success. The trailer looks very well made. Yeah. Well, I just kind of wanted to say, um, one thing about it is it sounds like the type of movie that I would everybody that's listening probably knows that I'm relatively new to this. I'm like a out of the closet horror fan and I'm looking forward to it. So get it all done and ready to go. Well, that's great. I love hearing feedback like that. It just makes me want to push even faster on the post production. Work harder. There you go. Well, anyways, um, Garrett, uh, thanks for coming on. Uh, again, I want to help you get this thing pushed because it looks very, very interesting. Well, thank you so much, Scott. You take care you of yourself, too. okay? Have a nice holiday. Thanks a lot. All right. You too. Yep. Happy holidays. We'll see you. Bye-bye. Bye.